Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 14 of the January Lately Go Daily Challenge, uh, two weeks into the year. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, first, oh, it's Friday. Hmm, it is, isn't it? Man, I'm always doing I'm always doing it from a different time zone, so the, the day of the week is a little bit weird. But I hope y'all have a great weekend. And today's problem is string to integer, which is a very annoying problem. So I am almost certainly going to have like five wrong answers. Um, but I don't know what to make of it. So let's let's. Uh, the the tricky thing is that there is a lot of weird, um, not weird, just just um, a, a lot of these type of problems. They they often take a very generic thing and then make it like a little bit more specific. So you have to kind of pay attention to the details that they leave out. Um, so like you have a, if you have a concept of what um, a toes should be, um, it might not be. <laughs> what this question is asking, even though it tries to pretend that that's the case. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look. Okay, ignore any leading space. Okay, done. Uh, left, uh, uh, let's see, check if the next character is a minus of the uh, weed and this of its either. Okay. Okay. Um, it starts with... Then, okay, uh, let's just say negative is equal to false, uh, negative is equal to true, um, and then s is equal to. Do, 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 do. I mean, this isn't the most uh, efficient thing, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Read the next cat. Next characters until the next nine digit or the end of the input. Okay. Um, let's see. Then, okay. So for I in range of N, where N is length of S. But yeah, I, sorry, I'm not talking too much about this problem because it is just, I'm looking at the rows one at a time and then just like implementing it. I don't know if there's anything complex about this per se. That said, there are a lot of possible edge cases, but that's that's the things that I would say. Um, what was it doing? Yeah, okay. If, mm, see, for example, I don't think that's quite... Um, that's not what a toe does. I could be wrong about that one, but yeah. Okay. So if S sub I is digit, if this is not true, then we break, right? Otherwise, um, current is equal to uh, zero, and we do well, this thing again where we shift and add, right? Shift and add. Um, of course, you have to convert this to an int. Uh, yeah, uh, and maybe instead of this, I can write negative is equal to, um, this is a little bit awkward. Maybe just, I'll just call it sign. And then we can return. Um, okay, so now current we multiply by sign if Current is less than or, or maybe we can just do current is equal to min of current to uh, minus one. Uh, yeah. And then current is equal to max of current to the to, 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 to negative version of this. Right. And of course, you could do it in shift. And of course, there are some nuance to this because. I don't know how long this can be, 200 characters. Um, and of course, in different languages, you may want it to overflow. So you may actually um, do this kind of logic here instead. Um, but let was kind of see if this is good enough for now. And and yeah, uh, like I said, um, for other languages, this is actually very awkward and not done this way um, because you would just go again to overflow issues. Um, what I recommend for that is using a long, um, a six, wow. How did I have wrong answers after that, but then not submit before? What did I do here? Hmm. Did I just gave up on the problem? Uh, I guess I just gave up on the problem. Hmm. That's weird. Did I just forget to submit last time? Hmm. 
I don't know. But anyway, but this time actually I got it on the first try. Um, so I guess there, I am making progress. I am getting a little bit better at these weird problems because uh, I don't think there's anything that I quote unquote memorized for this one because that's a really silly thing to memorize. Um, but yeah, it's just about following the rules. But there is, I think the tricky part is um, five and maybe five and four together, depending on how you want to write it, um, because you can get, you know, overflow or underflow. So I think if you use a 64-bit int, it's probably the cleanest way, but but you can also do a couple of things to kind of, um, like you can vertify stuff before you do the shift and add, right? Like for, for example here, if you do some like if statement for before you multiply the 10, then you can kind of do it that way. I think that's the way to keep everything in int uh, or 32-bit int, but it's still a very awkward problem. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. This is linear time, linear space, um, uh, because because the size of the uh, the output is going to be uh, linear to the size of the input. Um, you can kind of get it down, like I said, by bounding it with an int to technically constant or the, the size of the universe, which is two to the, uh, or just 31 bit int or 32 bit int, right? 32 bit signed at int. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you got it on the first try. <laughs> uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you over the weekend, or if not, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.